What is up everybody, Hunter Orell here, and I wanna cover a quick discussion on setting gas with MetaMask. This is super important, uh, especially if you're doing any hyped up drop like art blocks curated or uh, anything that has a lot of buyers interested and there's a drop time and everybody's trying to buy it at once. If you set normal gas, you can likely not get the item you're trying to buy. And the concept of this works because the way uh, an Ethereum uh, transaction is processed is the higher gas transactions are processed first by the miners uh, who are confirming these transactions. That's because they make more money off these higher gas transactions. Um, so I'll walk us through quickly how to do it, the concepts uh, that revolve around doing this, and then hopefully the next time you go to mint something and there's high demand, you know how to get what you're trying to get. So obviously there's no art box drops right now and I'll just do this with a CryptoPunk and show you the basics. If I go to bid um, and it asks to put in an amount and usually on a drop, there's a set mint price, you'll enter the quantity you wanna mint and then it'll uh, initiate that transaction. If we hit submit bid, uh, we're then offered up with a gas fee. Now MetaMask has automatically set this gas fee based on a calculation it does uh, for what it thinks will get this transaction through based on current gas prices. And MetaMask isn't really that good at it. So even if you're not uh, in a very high end uh, or high you know, demand drop, it's worth checking to see what current gas prices are on a more reliable website like gasnow.org. Um, so let's say we wanna quickly increase this gas or change it. You can go to edit right there and then you're offered up with slow, average, and fast. Um, but again, this can be a little misleading. Uh, if we go to advanced, it'll show us exactly how many GUI we're paying, 16.2. Um, if we hit fast, it'll show us that within this advanced tab here, based on fast, uh, it's gonna be towards the higher end of that. Now, if we go to a website like gasnow.org, which is a little bit uh, more accurate on what's happening, it'll show you slow, standard, fast, and rapid gas prices, and you're actually even able to see the pending transactions within the uh, blocks. If you look at this uh, and you want a transaction to get be processed really fast, and this changes you know, second to second, you're gonna wanna pl place your bid uh, much higher, you know, 50 to 100% higher uh, than the current gas prices. So. If this was a drop and I want to get something processed fast, I would put like 45 plus and to make sure that gets processed. If the demand's super high, I might even go as high as like 75 if I know I want to absolutely be the first one. Um, if you have a high drop like we saw last Sunday where there are three projects all dropping at the same time, we saw gas prices spike up to 800 guay at one point. Uh, it's important to understand that, you know, going from this chart and back to MetaMask and sitting gas, within that period, GUI can change uh, by you know, 50, 75, 100 based on how many transactions are being set. So what I would do is go here, check to see what the transactions are. 16 is gonna be fast, but it's certainly not gonna be instantaneous. Um, I would come back to this tab, pull up my MetaMask, uh, go back to the edit gas function, and I would set this probably around 30 to make sure that gets done like instantaneously. There's no question. Um, if I go back to basic and close this, uh, it would show me now my new gas fee price here uh, after changing that GUI and hitting save. Um, and then all you have to do at that point is hit confirm. That confirm will then show you uh, within your MetaMask, uh, you know, activity, what you've done, you can easily click on that, go to Etherscan, uh, and see if it's been processed or not. And it'll sometimes give you a prediction for how fast that'll be processed. Um, there's a lot of other ways to, you know, if you have a stock transaction, go into those, but I think that's for another video. I hope this helps uh, with all the gas wars we're seeing, and I hope it helps you get something that you're really trying to get uh, with high demand. And certainly for art blocks drops, I think this is gonna be the best way to get what you want. 
I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, stay positive, happy, and help out your fellow NFT friends.